Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Sentinel V4. This particular one is the Sentinel LE V4, where it's got the gold coloration inside the grooves here, here, and it's even inside the emitter windows and here at the top of the emitter. So, this saber just like most of the Ultra Saber lightsabers, especially on the from the middle range down, it's a one point four five inches wide. This particular saber is twelve point three seven five inches long. We've got a double choke point, and like I said previously, when I was talking about the Apprentice which is the smaller version of this saber. This one is the Apprentice. And over here to the right, we have the Sentinel. You can tell they're identical. We've got an additional choke point here. This model also happens to have the horizontal emitter windows. Very, very good feeling saber in the hand, whether one-handed or two-handed. These choke points really make a difference. I particularly like this top choke point because it's so wide. Um, you can tell that both of the choke points on the Sentinel are larger than the one on the Apprentice. And the choke points really do make a difference in handling. Moving it around and getting a good feel for where your hands need to be without having to try to find that switch. Choke points are a natural place to, to grab it from. Makes it really nice to spin again. Like most of them, this is MHS compatible pommel. Trade that out for any other MHS compatible hilt. Um, correction, I'm sorry, pommel. So let me know in the comments below what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Do you like the Sentinel? Apprentice? Maybe. You prefer the Initiate or the Aeon or Dominix? Let, Let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, comment. And um, if you like this content and you want to see more of it in the future, please subscribe and hit that notification icon so that you be sure to get all the notifications of our future videos. You could have watched another video, and I really appreciate you watching this one. Thank you.